I'm here just before going into the waterfront hotel to get my awesome breakfast. You can see it behind me and well it doesn't look really special but I can tell you that it is obviously the number one choice when you are at the airport in Magdal Cebu and have some time to waste and that's what I'm going to do. It is 880 peso but it's worth it when you go on a long trip because the selection is great, bacon looks fine. Well later on I'm gonna go for some of that Danish breakfast stuff and let's see I have six hours to kill I'm good with that. It's like a good hotel with some part um, local Filipino and Asian food while a lot of different rice, garlic rice, chorizo rice, um, then pancit. I want to get a look on it, that's a kind of um, Filipino small glass noodle kind of thingy, pork tocino or a kind of sausages and some beef tapa which I really really like. That is, that really looks yummy. Asian stuff, you get a lot of funny things you may not understand. So here we have dillis, which is kind of crablets, then some, some tangit, which many people of you may not like, but it is something like absolute delicious for this region and for Asia. Some tuyo, which are tiny little fish, dried fish, and it, they don't stink like those at the market. So absolutely no problem. In the next section you get some yogurt kind of thingy before I just walk around the wrong side of the menu anyway. So you have yogurt, yogurt fresh fruits, um, compote and pineapple, mango yogurt, then off-the-shelf off yogurt before we come to the important things in life. Bacon. Bacon because there's nothing in the world without bacon and hash browns. That's how a good breakfast has to be. Now having that said this, it also continues with some lovely, let's say, um, buttered fish fillet, which I want to show you in a second. Mm, that's really yummy, I had that already before of course some white breakfast sausages and last but not least baked beans baked beans they're also not too sweet they have a little bit of a sweet taste so this is about the center section um, you also get some fresh salad kind of stuff if you are more into rabbit food in the middle you have a beautiful centerpiece with different kind of bread it almost looks like decoration but of course you can eat you can grab whatever you want of that um, and of course sugar and some sweet stuff peanut butter chocolate blueberry jam and so on so there yeah, you definitely get some good yummy food here Behind here is the egg section. You can see what different kind of eggs are set up over easy omelette and of course pancake you can order. That's what you put in your little uh, rice soup and all your chicken stock, your elevated. Beautiful little salads like chicken pomelo salad, um, kimchi for our Korean friends, creamy potato salad. Um, peanut and apple salad actually really yummy and of course last but not least some cold cuts well I guess the salami at the ham just run out today which does not really matter there's still enough yummy stuff here for the next section we get again to the more healthy stuff with really green lettuce and 
cabbage and all that things. Red tomatoes, which is not very common in the Philippines because Filipinos eat everything a little bit too early before it's getting ripe. Um, including coupons, onions, Parmesan cheese, mushrooms, and a lot of different dressing. Well, Malungai pesto. Malungai is a very special kind of tree bush here. It helps you against everything. No matter if you have AIDS, are broken or broke or suffer from cancer or just have a blister on the lubut. Malungai, that's what it helps. Then more French dressing, Caesar dressing, ranch dressing. Thousand Island dressing, vinaigrette dressing, I mean really name it and it's here. I'm going for the last round which is a little bit something sweet now to end it with some blueberry danish and some jam and of course let's not forget the peanut butter. Anyway but after that I guess I'm really stuffed. Maybe have another cup of coffee and then think about how to past the next four and a half hours. Of course you get your regular juices and iced tea, orange juice, iced tea, very yummy, the lemon water, of course you can have plain water also. Um, for a little bit sweet in the morning, some pico, pico, some cupcakes and of course the Danish puff pastry stuff which you do not want to miss out to try a piece or two. And to that beautiful, beautiful, lovely lady making our crepes, if we actually order them, or the pancake. She's in charge for everything. And of course, she's in charge for the sweet smile. <laughs> Mabel syrup cherry, blueberry, orange jam and all that other yummy stuff where you just dream of waffles, pancakes. So when you stay in Cebu, this is the place to come and look out for that smile. Now after this beautiful and really filling breakfast, I'm ready for a long trip. I turn a little bit around. I hope you still can see everything. This is kind of the entrance area from the airport side of Magdan Waterfront Hotel um, where I just finished a real real good breakfast. Now there's still something like four hours for me to waste and well the first thing you do is when you get out after breakfast you have a cigarette. Well, you know as a smoker you always find the corners with a beautiful view where nobody really cares. Um, one of the secrets why nobody really cares that I'm smoking here is it's in the sun. And we all know that Filipinos don't go in the sun. No security, no police, no smoking, no smoking mafia and sheriff. So you can actually have your smoke everywhere whether it's sunny or when it's a little bit rainy because they also don't go into the rain. Anyway, from my side, highly recommended breakfast in buffet. Yes, it costs some money and, for, and some greedy people will say, oh, oh, 880 peso. Well, screw that, you know, it's something like $15. $15, 12 euros or 13 euros. So, fair enough for me, good deal. See you inside the airport.